well to talk a bit more about the diplomatic impact of those arrests in Turkey. We're joined by Alon Liel, the former head of the Israeli diplomatic mission to Turkey. Thanks for being with us. Um, so first of all, there is some concern here in Israel that Erdogan will try to leverage this case. Uh, do you think that's what's happening? Um, I think it's happening, um, unfortunately. Uh, I think that he didn't plan the event uh, as it developed, but once uh, the judge gave him uh, 20 days, uh, it attracted the attention uh, to the relations, and he has uh, many points that he wants to raise uh, regarding the bilateral relations, and things started rolling already. It moved to the higher level in Israel, to the level of the prime minister, foreign minister, and uh, we are seeing that uh, in Israel, uh, the second thoughts regarding several issues. So I think not only that he's trying to do it, he is also succeeding. So what do you think it is that Turkey would want uh, from Israel? And how should the Israeli government respond? Turkey, first of all, feels extremely frustrated because of the Israeli cold shoulder. For about six months, Erdogan says, and more than says, does things that indicate that he wants to improve the relations. He appointed an ambassador to Israel, and Israel did not respond. He sent a, a team of more senior diplomats to Tel Aviv. He called the president and had a long conversation and good conversation, I hear, with the president, and, and nothing happened. So uh, he he shows that he is frustrated. Now, the, the reason he is frustrated is that he has many issues on his agenda that uh, he wants to discuss with Israel. Uh, one of them is the Armenian genocide issue with an attempt for new legislation in Israel. Another is Libya. So I think I think by by this move or by these developments, uh, these issues are surfaced uh, and discussed in Israel, and uh, he, this is a partial success for him.